All right, so what we are tasked to do is to figure out the value of y to the second power if the square root of x is equal to y plus three. All right, now if we know what y is equal to, we would just take that and we would square it because we have to figure out what y to the second power is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this expression right here, the square root of x equals y plus three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve for y. In other words, we're gonna get y by itself. So let's go ahead and isolate this variable right here. So to do this, what we could do is we could take this positive three here and send it to the other side of our equation by subtracting three because opposite integers cancel out to be nothing, but to balance our equation, we have to subtract three from this side. So now what we have is the square root of x minus three is equal to y. So now we know what y is equal to. It is equal to the square root of x minus three. So what we have to do now is just take y and square it. So let us go ahead and take the square root of x minus three and square it, which is basically just multiplying this term here by itself. So we're gonna write this in expanded form. So we have the square root of x minus three multiplied by the square root of x minus three three. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to multiply these first two terms together. So we have the square root of x times the square root of x, which is just equal to x. Now, whenever you're multiplying something under the radical by itself, all you have to do is remove the radical and write what's underneath that one time. For example, let's say we had the square root of nine times the square root of nine. The answer would just be nine. Now let's just work this out really quick. We know the square root of nine is three and the square root of nine is three. So that just gives us three times three, which ends up giving us nine. Therefore, the square root of x times the square root of x is just x. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take these outer terms and multiply them and then take these inner terms and multiply them. So we have negative three times the square root of x, which is just negative three square root of x. So we just write them right next to each other. This indicates multiplication. And we have the same two values for our inner terms here. So once again, we're gonna write minus three square root of x. And the last thing we have to do is multiply these two terms together. We have negative three times negative three, which is positive nine. Now we have four terms in this expression. And these middle two terms here are like terms because they're both in terms of the square root of x. So what we're gonna do is just combine these two terms here. So we rewrite this entire expression as x. And when we combine these two terms, we get minus six square root of x. We leave the square root of x alone. We just write it one time. And all we do is add the coefficients together, which is negative six, and then just bring down this positive nine. And this is as far as we can go because there are no more like terms to be combined. So our answer right here is choice D.